Hi everybody, Rich Formadoni from Korg here, and today we're going to be talking about the iElectribe version 1.1. It's the uh, top grossing music software right now in the app catalog for the Apple iPad, and uh, we've made some, some great improvements to it. Improved sound quality, knob resolution, and the ability to export patterns and real-time performances as WAV files that can then sync right up with iTunes and be dragged into your favorite DAW for, uh, for further work. Now you might notice that we've, uh, we've color matched our iElectribe here to match this very cool protective cover. This is from a company called InCase, and you can visit their website at goincase.com. They've got lots of different colors and styles to choose from. And the really cool thing about it to me that makes it very useful for music is that the back of the iPad itself isn't perfectly flat. It's curved a little bit. So when you have it on a table and you're tapping out a rhythm or something like that in software like the iElectribe, it wobbles around a little bit and that can get a little distracting. So with this case, it just lays perfectly flat and it's much easier to play. So uh, let's dig in and I'll show you how to export audio. So the most important feature of version 1.1 is the ability to export audio. Now the first thing you need to do is just select a pattern. Then touch the very top of the app and touch export. Now from the little window that pops up you can select either real-time recording or bounce pattern. Let's touch bounce pattern and right here it says saved as house4.wave. So it takes the title of the pattern that you're working with and turns it right into a wave file. Now the next time you connect the iPad to your Mac it'll automatically sync it up to iTunes. Now once you're in iTunes select the device on the left and then click the Apps tab at the top. Now if you scroll down, you should see iElectribe just under Apps. Click on that once, and then you'll see the WAV file that we just created right over there to the right. The other option that we have is called Real-Time Recording, so let's select that. Now this small counter appears right in the middle of the iElectribe. When you press that record button, it starts recording your performance. And you can do everything, including uh, changing the oscillator options, the filters, the amp section, the effects, even playing the instruments here or changing patterns. So everything we just did was saved uh, as a WAV file with the uh, current date and time. So that is version 1.1 of the iElectribe software for the Apple iPad. You can get it in the App Store and you can get this very cool protective cover from goincase.com. Thanks for watching.